Choosing a major can often be one of the most overwhelming decisions we make in life. I first chose mechanical engineering when I came to Rose Holman, but I never saw myself working as an engineer long term. I really just wanted to challenge myself, build some discipline and work ethic, and also develop my problem solving and critical thinking skills. Mechanical engineering, because it was the broadest of all engineering majors, seemed like it would be the best option. Turns out, it wasn't. Hi, my name is Renato Depp and today I'm going to talk about three reasons why I switched from a mechanical engineering to a computer science major at Rose Holman. It's not supposed to be this cold by this time of the year. I mean, for a, for a treat of a winter, I guess. Reason number one, STEM education. I believe in the power of dealing with advanced math and complex concepts. I think mechanical engineering is a great major for many people. I just got to a point where I realized that many of the things I was about to learn were not going to be useful for me unless I decided to work in the mechanical engineering field. On the other hand, computer science major is just as rigorous, just as academic stimulant for me, but it doesn't require me to take as many showers. In all seriousness, I believe that the programming skills I acquire through the computer science major are going to be more useful for me regardless of the career path I choose in the future, especially in a world where there's high demand for developing software, analyzing data, and optimizing processes. So I don't think it would be bad at all for me to keep going towards the ME path. I just believe that the main thing I'm getting out of a STEM degree is the foundation. And so since there's nothing special about mechanical engineering for me, I'd rather major in something that I think the skills might be more useful for me in the future. Reason number two, growth mindset. People who believe abilities can be developed with effort are more likely to take on challenges and push themselves. A few years ago, I read this book by Stanford psychologist Carol Dweck named Mindset, the, Psych the New Psychology of Success. In the book, she separates people between those that have a fixed mindset and those that have a growth mindset. The first group believes that talents and skills are static, while the second group be believes that you can develop them through learning and effort. After reading this book, I tried to adopt a growth mindset in which I see challenges as an opportunity to grow. Adopting this mindset opened me up to experiences I once never thought possible. Like when I started playing tennis and working out more seriously at the age of 16, I knew that I would have way more challenges because I was starting a little later than usual. But through this mindset, I learned to embrace challenge and to see stepping out of my comfort zone as a positive thing. And so it's still hard for me to identify myself as a CS major because I don't have much programming knowledge at all but I'm seeing this as a challenge and I'm ready to embrace it. Reason number three, instinct. A rational explanation is not always better than instinctive perception. Most of the times when we make a decision in life, we don't truly know the reason behind it. I'm sure you've made a decision before on instinct and then later on trying to rationalize it. In his book about reframes, author Scott Adams says that we like to think that we make decisions based on careful thinking, but that at the end of the day, science says that most of it is just our brains trying to retrofit explanations to decisions we've already made intuitively. I can tell you why I did it, but at the end of the day, it comes down to a, an instinctive choice, an instinctive awareness of myself. And just like rationalizing decisions, we act according to the stories we believe to be true about who we are. I think the amount of things that define you as who you are is very little. It's, it's a very short list of things that define you, who you are, and the rest is just the story you tell yourself about who you are. And that's why a growth mindset is important here, because if we believe that our traits are static, we'll never change them. But on the other hand, if we believe that we can power through change by exerting some effort, we can transform ourselves into the best version we can be. When I first decided I was going to major in ME, it was all of a sudden. I, my first idea was to major in business, but then I changed my mind. I thought a STEM degree would be more challenging and more suiting for me. And it wasn't easy for me to identify myself as an engineer. But after time, I told myself this story so many times that I eventually um, grew to see myself as a mechanical engineer. And I was enjoying the classes and performing well in those classes. So I just believe I have to do this once more again. Detach myself from the old identity of an engineer and learn that now I am a computer scientist. If I am interested in learning computer science, I am gonna enjoy learning computer science because I, that's 
a belief of mine. I'm interested in that. And if I believe that I'm interested in that, I'm going to be interested in that. But it's not easy to change your beliefs about yourself. So it's not a trivial thing. That's why self-discovery and, and uh, self-learning is, is a very interesting thing to discuss about and not something so trivial because it's, it's very hard to distinguish between the things that truly define who you are and the things that you believe about yourself but that are not necessarily true and, doesn't, and, and don't define you in, in your core essence. And from past experience, I feel like whenever I'm compelled and excited about heading towards a direction in life, I actually end up enjoying the process a lot. So that's why I'm very excited about switching my major. It's going to be a big change, but I'm still going to be the same curious and ambitious person who is looking for opportunities to grow wherever I go. To wrap up the video, let's recap the main reasons I switched from mechanical engineering to computer science. First, I realized I was more interested in the critical thinking foundation of a STEM degree rather than becoming an engineer specifically. Second, embracing a growth mindset opened me up to taking on new challenges and reinventing myself. And third, I had an instinctive feeling that computer science was a better fit for my interests and goals. So if you're struggling right now with deciding what you want to study in college, think about what you want out of your college degree, try to use the growth mindset to embrace challenges, and last but not least, See what feels right to you, because that can mean a lot. And just like me, if you feel like you made the wrong decision, you can always go back and change. It's never too late. And so, I guess life is just like coding. You can always debug and hit run again. See, I'm a coder now. I've already changed my identity. <laughs> so I'm trying to get here in the Emmy room so that I can film this video, but... My car doesn't work anymore because I switched to CS. That's so funny. <laughs> Oh, what's up, vlog? <laughs> Just got done giving Renata the best footage she's ever had in his life. Not true, but it's pretty good. Probably true. It's pretty. There's some pretty good shots in there. So. All right, thank you so much, Austin. Yeah, you're welcome, I dude. really appreciate Hope it. You enjoy the vlog. I always appreciate when you guys leave comments down below, so please let me know what you thought of this video and let me know what videos you want to see in this channel in the future. If you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll definitely see you in the next one.